Thank you very much, uh, Janet. It's, it's great an honor when I look at this group of people behind me, I, I won't repeat their names, but I've known many of them through the years, some 10 years ago, some 20, some 30, and some 40, but some 40 are gone. Um, many of them have lost their jobs, they've lost their positions, they've suffered imprisonment, uh, jail time, but they've been fined, they've suffered persecution, and some are gone, like uh, Mr. Shifley, who I dearly loved and you know, they all have one thing in common, which reminds me of a, a story. When I first got into politics, uh, they said in the court system, they said uh, three things you have to have to be a good candidate. And that's honesty, dedication, and experience. So I went to a seasoned old judge and told him that. He said, Roy, he said, that's, that's not really re correct. He says, you don't need honesty, dedication, and experience. What you need to do is, is have... Uh, eyeglasses it shows people that you study a lot and read a lot and I've come to where I have to have glasses when the close range now he says the next thing is you have to have uh, grain hair thinning hair well as you can see mine's been going for a while and uh, he, he said you have to have that to show your age you have to have be studied and be of an age proper and then he said, and you, then you have to have uh, one other thing. I said, what's that judge? He said, you have to have hemorrhoids. <laughs> and I said, judge, I, I don't understand that. Uh, I don't have hemorrhoids. Uh, he said, well, you have to have hem hemorrhoids. Uh, and I said, why? He said, well, it gives you a concerned look. <laughs> <laughs> I think the one thing that drives these people to come from places all across our country, from California and Texas and Ohio and Maryland and Pennsylvania, New York, uh, Florida, uh, Illinois. The one thing we have in common is a concern for our country and concern for our future. I want to thank every one of them individually. It's been a great honor. It's been a great encouragement to hear them. They know what they're talking about, I think. Uh, they know that this country faces rough times ahead if we don't go back to the one upon whom it is founded. I thank all of you who have come to support me in this campaign. I sincerely appreciate your support and look forward to serving the United States Senate. One thing I would like to see happen in our country is unity. I said I wanted to see unity. I never dreamed that I would succeed even before I got elected, but I have unified the Democrats <laughs> and the Republicans <laughs> in fighting against me because they don't want me there. As you know, the Washington Post has brought some scurrilous, false charges, not charges, allegations, which I have emphatically denied time and time again. They're not only untrue, but they have no evidence to support them. Two of the speakers up here said words that I caught. One said unsubstantiated, and another said unproven. Another said they were fake. All of that is true. And the Washington Post is certainly not evidence. What I want to do in this campaign is very simple. It's get back to the issues which some are avoiding addressing. I haven't had one question from the press or the media about issues in this case since these allegations have occurred. What is important is how we address the future of this country. About cutting taxes, rebuilding our mili military, repealing Obamacare, and putting good judges and justices on the federal and Supreme Court of the United States. We've got to stop judicial supremacy yep. or we're yep. our yep. 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 Many of you have recognized that this is an effort by Mitch McConnell and his cronies to steal this election from the people of Alabama, and they will not stand for it. They overcame three, $30 million and voted me in the primary, and now they're trying a different tactic. They even, I will, the other day we got a call from one big magazine, which you all recognize if I say the name, I don't want to say it, but they got a call and said, ask me to step down from the campaign. Well, I want to tell you who needs to step down. That's right. Come on. That's Mitch McConnell.
been comments about me taking a stand. Yes, I have taken a stand in the past. I'll take a stand in the future. And I'll quit standing when they lay me in that box and put me in the ground. Amen. I'm proud to stand with people that I see behind me and with people of Alabama to bring forth the truth to Washington, D.C. Not just about what we stand for, but what the people of this country stand for. An acknowledgement of God, an acknowledgement of the Constitution, an acknowledgement that we need moral value back in our country. And without God, we can never succeed. I want to thank you for coming here. I want to close with just saying, may God bless you, bless the state of Alabama and the United States of America. Thank you. We've all been waiting for. Let's take a few questions. Uh, as Judge Roy Moore, I, I want to give you a true part of this is we just want to just want to honor you, just want to bless you. Our, our whole idea is here just to, to encourage you, to stand with you, and uh, as our gift to you, uh, uh, and I know that won't hold very long, but as Reagan said, we paid for this microphone. Uh, we, uh, we want to allow questions regarding issues. So let's, let's see if we can break into something and, and not handle anything else about the unsubstantiated allegations. As you've said, the Washington <laughs> Post is not evidence, and uh, we're going to talk about issues today. If anyone has a question about issue. Yes, sir. The major issue here is, Judge, did, did you touch any of these women who have accused you of touching them? Just answer it, answer it unequivocally. This is a room of faith. God's looking to you. We, to answer that question. He's already answered that question. He's already answered that question. Listen, he's already answered that question. It is absolutely. He has spoken repeatedly. In fact, I heard him answer that question as, as, as Sean Hannity. We That's paid for this microphone, and that, what I want to say is he's answered that question repeatedly, and I, and it was answered he's sufficiently answer as was on Sean yes, Hannity. Let's take a look. Let's sure take the next question. question. Yes, sir. Question. Next question, sir. Does, does Judge Roy Moore categorically deny he dated high school girls, teenage high school girls, when he was in his thirties? You've read his letter, and it addresses that very clearly. We we have have say, next. Judge, I want to answer that question. I paid for the microphone. I'm sorry. Yes, sir. Do you, have a, do you have a question about an issue? All right. Well, we appreciate you staying and uh, coming, and uh, I'm glad you got more church than you probably had in the last 10 years. God bless you. Smart look on their face. Check that guy. Sir, we have covered three events this week, and there has not been an opportunity for me as an Alabama reporter to ask a question. So, so explain to me this. Just look at this. Just look at this. You aren't even looking. You are too busy to look. Here. Look well, at the mob. These people are sick, sick, sick. In desperate need of Jesus. And they hate, hate, hate. And so they come out with argument ad hominem. Look at your picture. You guys, if I had a mirror to show you what you look like, we can show you how angry you are. have questions about these issues. Why won't you ask questions about the issue? Facing our country. Why won't you ask an intelligent question about the issues in this country? Did you stop beating your wife? I don't understand it. Did you stop beating your wife? Yes or no? Sir, are you a man of faith? Did you stop beating your wife? Are you a man of faith? Are you a man of faith? He's a man of faith. Did you stop beating your wife? Answer yes or no. Like to meet my wife? Yes or no? I said yes or no. Love you. Well, you don't have an answer for it because it's a logical fallacy, sir. You, are you were clown. asked to ask questions about the issues. They the issues about they our state. About the issues that. about our country. You were not asked to ask personal questions about Mr. Moore. We wanted to hear personal what he had to say about the issues. And you did not allow it because you are the fake line news from the swamp. Yeah. And, and yes, that's what you are. So, friend, you don't want to show all of these deranged people out here that are frothing at the mouth. I don't know why. Why don't you just take a look at yourself in the mirror? Sure, I'm an Sir, I'm reporter. I live in Burbank. Yeah, I understand. And that. we haven't had a chance to ask our Senate candidate questions all yep. week. Well, I'm sorry about that, but you could probably imagine why, couldn't you? No, because why, we why, should sir? be able to ask our candidate questions. Because of the mentality you've got. You just want to, you, what you'd like to do is bury him. And why? Why? What, what did he do? What did he do?